Good morning guys, welcome to another episode. I hope you can hear that. Spring is definitely on his way. It's when everything starts coming back to life. I love it, I love the spring. <clears throat> Anyways, in this video, I'll go in, into what this video is about in a second, but this video is the first recent upload since the uh, Falkland Islands uh, documentary. If you haven't seen that, I'll uh, leave a link up on the screen if you want to check that out. But all my recent vid, not my recent videos, but my recent uploads have been old videos. I have got no old videos left, unfortunately, to upload. All right, some of my old content. <clears throat> That's it now. So from this, uh, from this video forward, uh, it'll be all you know present uploads. So. In this video, I'm uh, I'm currently out in my local woodland. Um, sorry about the background noise; it is quite busy where I'm situated here at the moment. But basically, I've propped myself up. I've uh, recently got a new job role, which is uh, amateur photographer, which I'm over the moon about. Um, so I've got I've got a big lens with me today, right? The the Canon 200. And I'm gonna do a bit of photography in this video as well. So it's a bushcraft video, bushcraft, woodland bushcraft slash photography video. And hopefully we'll have uh, we'll have some good photos. Yeah. So the ground I'm on is um, is owned by the military, so it's for military personnel only. And uh, I was trying to film and photograph on the 200 lens. I was trying to film and photograph a, a big heron earlier on. I've, I've taken um, I've taken a bit of footage on the smaller lens, but as I was trying to do it, um, some mountain bikers, they're not even supposed to be on ya. Some mountain bikers come down the mountain there and scared it off, uh, which uh, is a bit frustrating. And granted, you can't you can't stop it all the time, but it, it seems to be a lot of mountain bikers these days on this land, and yeah, technically they're not supposed to be here. Um, it's only small and it's used by the military, so this side of the water is military and that side is, is public and they're crossing over, crossing over here all the time, so I'm gutted I couldn't take that, but I'm going to try and get some fo uh, decent footage or decent photos anyway, and uh, I've had some, uh, I've had some scran, I've had some scoff, so I've had a vegetarian all day breakfast earlier. And I, I just ate it cold. That's one good thing about the military rations. You, you can eat them cold. You know, because they're not uh, dehydrated. And I don't mind them cold, they're decent. And I got some uh, tropical mix. I've had a, I've had a little munch. <laughs> uh, but I love this stuff. I don't know if you've had this before. Tensing. It's like natural energy drink. Uh, yeah, they're really good. Bet a few and all that uh, monster rubbish. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and see if the lighting's really good in this spot. I'll give you a bit of orientation when I've uh, when I've stopped waffling. <laughs> but um, the lighting's really good here, so um, hopefully I can get some. Yeah, like I said, get some decent photos. So, guys, I hope we have a good video. And uh, as always. Stay tuned. See you in a bit.
Oh, guys, that sunshine. It's been a long time coming. Honest to God. It's felt like it's rained for about two years straight. <laughs> In Britain. Honestly, it's been a washout since about February. Unreal. Like rain every day. It's, uh, yeah, it does, yeah. I don't mind the rain, but all the time. It gets on your nerves, man. I mean, when it's every day, like. But anyway... I had to get out today with the, with the sunshine. Um, going for a basic setup. Yeah, just a DPM military issue basher. I've got um, Corinthia bag, snug pack special forces bivy, a pillow, and a tiny little ultralight uh, ultralight foam pad. I uh, I did bring my what is it? It's Thermarest uh, Uber light. Of this ground um, it's quite it's quite soft anyway so I might not need it and um, it's not that cold at the moment but uh, yeah I don't trust it um, with the with the sharp with the sharp twigs and everything so it's about um, it's about 200 quid a throw so <laughs> I'm gonna man manage without it tonight um, I bought that for like when I'm in the when I'm in the tent on the mountains or right, when I get when I the temperature gets down so yeah I'm not gonna use that tonight anyway rest of the video so um still got a lot to do I just got my um my little stove with me I'm not gonna have a fire I'm just gonna have a fire in the stove well I am gonna have a fire but I'll do it in the stove just to protect the ground um I went for the the bush box um it was recommended to me by um Kent Survival and if you, if you haven't seen his channel, guys, it's quite a popular channel to be fair. So you, if you're watching this, if you're watching this channel, you've probably watched his. Um, but if you haven't, I'll leave a link up at the top of the screen. It's a really good channel. He recommended the bush box, um, and this is the first time using it. So I uh, I got some good food. I got some good grub with me. So I'm gonna I got some kebabs. I think chops. I'm gonna cook a Welsh knock up a Welsh breakfast in the morning. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to this. I haven't been out for a bushcraft style camp for a long time. It's it's been it's been months. So yeah, I'm gonna reset the buttons and uh, have a nice little camp here tonight. It's a nice little spot. I um I found it. I stumbled across it when I was out walking a dog. I was on a, on a bit of a recce as well. So I stumbled across it. This little spot. It's quite quiet. It's quite a lot of air traffic, uh, which uh, which gets on your nerves a bit, but uh, it's not too bad today. Um, yeah, so, aye, like I said, i got a lot to do. i got to prep loads of wood for the fire and everything now, so, um, as always, guys, stay tuned.
Oh well, guys, that's my firewood prepped. It's better to have more than not enough, isn't it? <laughs> the real bush box is going to have an aid in tonight now. But it, because it's titanium, the otter titanium, guys, it changes colour. It changes into that petroleum colour, that sort of rainbowy colour, which I love. So, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, better to have more. But I, I'm quite methodical in the way I do my, or prep my firewood. Um, so I'll have it in sequence, starting from the top. Yeah, so I'll have my logs there, my small logs. Then I got my um, my sticks, and then my kindling, my two different types of kindling down here. So I'll have my bigger sort of kindling, smaller sticks, and then I got my bird's nest stuff there, uh, which I'll which I'll start the fire with initially. So I'll wait till I guess I got. So I pick two piles up of uh, the small stuff, because. The way you want to do it, and you don't have to do it like this, but the way I do it, I start really slow, start really small, and then build it up slowly. I think the last thing you want to do is chuck the thicker stuff on um, straight away because it won't get it won't get hot enough. So I'll just do it in sequence there. But um, I think it's enough. I hope it's enough anyway to last uh, into the night. But um, oh, I'm knackered now. Um, and I, I need a brew, so I'm gonna get a brew on now and uh, I'll bring you back.
So here we have it guys. I'm bloody starving now, as you can tell. <laughs> so here's the reveal. We have got, and this is all from the uh, South African butchers up the road. It's proper quality stuff like. They definitely know what they're doing. Um, yeah, so they do a Welsh, this is, uh, they call them dragon sausages back home. But this is a, a lamb and chilli sausage. We got beef kebabs. I forgot the spice on them, but they spiced. I think it's a, a mixture of different spices. And we got lamb and mint as well. I'm gonna, to complement that, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a nice fried egg in some salted butter. Oof. Once again, guys, no peasants life in the woods. Well, guys, here we go then. That's not a bad looking uh, plate of scran. So we've got the beef, spicy, spicy beef kebabs, dragon sausage, fried egg and salted butter, and um, minted lamb. What more can you ask for? Okay. Can of ten cent. Don't mind if I do. On the sober train tonight. Back on the soul. Back on the straight and narrow. I got a wedding uh, tomorrow. It's my mate's wedding tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna have a few, and then uh, try and stay sober for a bit. I've been kicking, uh, kicking the ass out of this, so trying to go sober for a bit um, from Monday. Anyway. Here we go. I'm gonna try this dragon sausage. Mm. Mm. Really meaty. Yeah, you can tell it's prop, proper, proper meaty butcher sausage like. Mm. None of that rich man shite. I just wish it was a bit spicier, but I'm like that with everything all. I want everything to burn your ass. <laughs> it's not always a case, or so. I love spice, but I do get fed, fed up with it sometimes. Because I lit, I literally put hot sauce on everything, so it's nice to have a break, innit? That sausage. Dipped in that egg. Mm. Fantastic, Jeremy. Right, let's try the. I don't know which one it is. Might be the lamb, I think. Oh, yeah. Why does everything taste so much better over a flame, over an open f flame? It just makes everything much better. Let's try the, where's the beef? Right, let's try the beef. Mm. 
quite a strong flavour to that. Not my favourite, but yeah, I won't turn it down. Like, I think the spice is uh, a bit too deep. Like, I like a bit of uh, sweet and spicy, a bit of sweetness to it. Mm. That's a good sausage. Good sausage. Mm. Just what I needed. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to finish this up. Uh, relight the fire, and uh, I start settling down for the night. So, catch you in a bit. Well, guys, I'm absolutely shattered. I'm stopped today. Um, yeah, but it's it's been great. Really needed this. Um, but I'm looking forward to that break in the morning. Uh, so stay tuned for that nice Welsh breakfast to start the day. I just hope it's uh, I hope it's the same day tomorrow. It's been a nice day today. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get in my fire attack and. And turn in, I think, guys. So, unless anything mythical or magical happens, I'll uh, I'll tune back in. But other than that, no star, and uh, I'll catch you in a bit.
Good morning, guys. Let me lift you up a bit. There we are. Hope you slept well. Didn't sleep too bad last night. I kept having um, mad dreams last night, and they were waking me up. And uh, some fox has booted off as well. So, but not too bad. It's not a bad day today. Not as good as yesterday, but I can see it brightening up. But anyway, I'm going to get tucked into this lot. I can't wait. Absolutely starving. Straight out to the frying pan, like a proper cowboy. <laughs> that lava bread. Oh, it was something else. It's not to everyone's fancy, and for those who are wondering what it actually is, it's um, boiled seaweed from Wales, and it, it's a Welsh delicacy. This is not a full Welsh breakfast, because it consists of um, cockles as well. So you normally have um, like a full English, but with cockles and lava bread instead of maybe, I don't know, maybe black pudding. Um, and mushrooms maybe but you know you you can make it up however you want it but it's got to include um, cockles and lava bread and both but um and not everyone's you know not everyone's taste but um it's like it is because um years ago um when uh, the miners would um obviously going underground and the graft they'd done underground, they were burning a lot of calories. So um, the local, the local wives, started including uh, cockles and lava bread because they're quite calorie dense. Uh, cockles and lava bread, and lava bread is ran full of iron. It's really good for you. Um, but they they just started including that in the breakfast uh, to obviously bolster the calories up, and then that obviously became. Uh, the traditional Welsh breakfast. The best one I've ever had is in um, Swansea Market. It's really good from there. Except for my own. Except for this one. <laughs> but I'm going to get these sausages again, I think, the dragon ones. They're really nice. They're not as spicy, and you know I love spice. But they're not as spicy as the ones back home. Uh, so I do prefer the ones back home because of that, but they are tasty. As I said, I'll, I'll probably get them again. Mm. Oh, lovely jubbly. Okay guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna cut the video there. Uh, only because, like I said, I got a wedding and uh, I got a, um, I got a double back to the car and uh, get home and make myself uh, look a bit presentable for a wedding. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> so, guys, um, I do want to say before I go, okay, thanks. I know I can't get after every comment. I wish I could. Um, yeah, I'm always on the go. I, w I wish I could, um, but I do normally leave a, a message. I do read them all. It's just I can't reply um, to e every comment, unfortunately. Um, but I'll try my best to, to reply to them all. Uh, basically, what I wanted to say was um, thanks very much, you know, for the for the new subscribers, new and old. All right, uh, supporting the channel, uh, and my aim is just to make it. You know make the best videos i can possibly make um i've just got into photography like i said i've just took a, a new job on as an amateur photo photographer um and i love um videography as well so um i'm just going to push the bone i'm just going to push my boundaries i'm just going to try and make the best video i can you know cinematic wise um make the best videos i can and you know, if I like them, then that's half the battle. And if you enjoy them, you know, that's um, that means the world to me. So, guys, like I said, thanks very much. Um, if you want to see more from me and, 
you want to get reminded of new videos please uh, subscribe hit that bell icon and uh, yeah give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video guys have a nice day and uh, I'll see you on the next one as I say in Flandau ciao for now peace this is the British Infantry three mile loaded speed march soldiers are required to carry 35 pound packed in a webbing and day sack and cover a total of three miles with a pass mark of 33 minutes or under to make things interesting the ground is relentless with a lot of elevation to tackle in a short distance so the soldiers will have to dig deep mentally and physically if they want to be successful also this is no ordinary three miler this is the Purbright three miler and home to the parachute regiment and household division centralized training courses this is just one of the many tests the soldiers will face to become leaders here in the british infantry the best infantry in the world.